Hey everybody. So we finished sculpting our head that we're going to 3D print. We've exported it as an SDL. And the next thing we are going to do is slice it and prepare it for 3D printing. So in order to do that, again, make sure that you have exported your file, uh, file, export, STL. Uh, label it, save it, and then we can open it in two different programs. So we're using any of the MakerBot printers. We are going to use MakerBot Print. If we are using the Ultimakers, we're going to use what's called Ultimaker Cura. So let's start with MakerBot Print. When we get to MakerBot Print, and by the way, you can download this uh, from the MakerBot website if you want it on your laptop or your own personal machine. When you get here, what you'll want to do is simply load a file. So go to Add Models. Uh, locate your file. This one's called Wavehead. Open it up. Um, if you click on the folder again, you can close this menu. Uh, click on here. You can see the print settings or the adjustment to the print settings. So a few things we can do uh, when we get in here. The first thing I like to do is just check the scale. And uh, again, if we are um, going to print these out at three inches, three and a half inches tall. That's roughly 89 centimeter or millimeters. So I'm gonna use 89 millimeters, uh, hit uh, scale, hit return, and then we'll adjust everything proportionally if you have uniform scaling checked on. Uh, so that's good. Uh, if you wanna zoom around, let's see, I think you use control and click. Yeah, if you control, hit hold down control and zoom or uh, move your mouse around, you can scale around and see what it looks like. Um, if it looks like it's really off center, you can move it using the move tools here. Um, let's see, you can rotate it, orient it, do anything like that um, with your model. If you hit shift, you can scale it. Oh, I'm sorry, if you hit shift and drag it, you can drag it around. Control click allows you to move it around, all right, or navigate around. So this is pretty good. I've got it scaled how I need. Now I'm going to go to the uh, print settings. So for our purposes, most of these default things are good to go. Um, we want a balanced print. Uh, we, you know, if you click on here, you can see that balanced uh, is optimized. So it's kind of like a medium quality, which is good. A draft would be quicker. Um, and you can go even further with custom settings to make it even more detailed. But for our purposes, balance is a good place to start. We do want a raft for this. And uh, one thing that we wanna do when you go to supports and bridging, so you may need to open this up, supports and bridging. Sometimes models like, see how this ear is hanging over here? This could be an issue. The chin pointing out could be an issue. So we wanna have supports and bridges. Um, and we wanna make sure that support type, click on this from none to breakaway support. Okay, and this is going to allow for um, scaffolding to be built so we can hold up those things that then we can remove later. So I just recommend having that on just for the safety of your print. Okay, and once this is all set, you can simply just go to this little button with a play button and a clock. You can click that. It's going to prepare the preview. It'll take a minute to optimize uh, and then it'll go through and slice everything up. Okay, we're just finishing up and you can see it's given us a nice view of our print. Here we can scrub through to see how it will print. You can see it's starting with that first layer, which is the raft, then it'll print the base, start printing the, the neck and the scaffolding, and then eventually the rest of the head. Now those yellow pieces are the scaffolding that we'll be able to break off later on and clean up. So when this is all set, um, Oh, one last thing. Make sure before you do anything that I just did that we have this set to replicator fifth generation. Uh, you can change between the different MakerBot printers. So rewind that, do this first, then do everything else I just mentioned. <laughs> Once you're there, hit export and you can save it as a um, wave head and uh, save that as a MakerBot print, okay? So that is all set. It gives you the amount of time it will take. 
it looks like this is going to take five hours and 27 minutes and it'll use 46 grams of PLA. All right, next, let's talk about Cura. Cura is very similar to MakerBot Print. It is a slicer. Um, uh, you can use Cura with almost any 3D printer, except for, I believe, the MakerBots. Um, uh, and so again, with this, what you want to do when you first open this up, you may need to, if you, you can also download this from the Ultimaker website, uh, you may need to um, add a printer. We're using the Ultimaker S5. You can see my home printer is the Creality Ender 3. So I have a couple different ones that are already in here. So, so that'll just load in the profile um, and match the bed. That's the biggest thing, the bed size and the, and the height of everything. So you know that your print will fit. Similar to MakerBot, um, you can go to the file folder, locate your STL. We're always going to be working from STL and we're 3D printing. Let me bring it into the slicer. Again, here you can click on it. It will give you a bunch of controls. Um, go to scale. And again, let's just make this 89. Okay. Um, Similarly, you can do things like rotate and, and move things around. Everything is pretty much set, so we don't go too far into that. Uh, this top menu here where it says normal, that's your print settings. It has presets. Normal is perfectly great. Um, I'm going to use that. Uh, keep my changes. I haven't changed anything. Um, but then uh, what we're looking for here, and in, in when we're using the Ultimaker, because it has a heated bed, we don't need to have a... Um, a raft and a raft again is just helps to keep it stuck to the bed so it prints properly but with a heated bed the pla wants to stick to whatever whatever it's been um adhered to so instead of uh, we're going to go down to where it says build plate adhesion instead of a raft we're going to use a brim and what a brim is is several lines in this case it's going to be seven lines that go all the way around the base so that it keeps it stuck on there. So it's a really good way of um, using less material, having a nice smooth bottom, and then also using that brim to kind of keep it extrude, um, stuck to the bed. Everything else, I mean, if you want to make adjustments to make this go faster, same with the uh, MakerBot printer too, infill density will change that very drastically. So I'm going to do instead of 20, which is a little too much, I'm going to do 10. Uh, so to bring that down a little bit, material speed, all this stuff, you can use the, the basic um, default settings. You know, once we get into refining prints and, and really trying to uh, perfect them, you can, you can go into each one of these things and work with all of the different elements. But for this case, um, the defaults are pretty good. So bed adhesion and infill are two things I want you to take a look at. Once this is set, click it off, not off, but click it, hide, hide the menu and just, just click slice. This will do the same thing. It's going to go through, slice it up a little bit faster than the MakerBot and uh, it'll give us a preview. Six hours and 39 minutes. So actually the MakerBot was faster, surprising. Um, so we can do a preview and then the same thing. We can scrub through and see how that comes together. All right, looks pretty good. When this is all set, save to a file and um, you can use the Ultimaker format package there. And again, um, let's save that, it's ready to go. Now for both of these, you're gonna to wanna to save them to a thumb drive and take the thumb drive and add it to the 3D printer and print from there. So if you have questions, let me know, uh, but these are the basic slicing softwares that we're using for 3D printing uh, for our projects.